Hey South Florida, I'm Alexis Malord with another real estate tip. Today we're going to be talking about a question I get asked all the time from my first time home buyers, which is, how do I save to purchase my first home? That answer is a little bit complicated because to save for your first home, you need to know what your purchase price is going to be. That's what it all comes down to. However, I have broken it down into four main categories that will help you save in no time. Our first category is knowing what you want. So I get a lot of clients who know that they want to purchase a home, but they don't know what kind of home it is that they like. Knowing exactly what you like will help move the process along very quickly. So fi figure out what is your style. Do some research. Do you like Mediterranean? Do you like ranch style houses, single families, townhomes? Do you want one level or two level? The more specific, the better for your goals. Our second category is how much can you afford? This is where it gets real. How much can you actually afford right now? If you watch Money Mondays, then you know that one can typically afford five times their yearly salary. So for example, if you make $30,000 a year, you can afford a home at a price of $150,000, depending on your debt to income ratio, which needs to be between 15 to 30%. Also, do you have savings? Is it just a rainy day fund or is this savings account specific for investments? Because buying a home is definitely an investment. Keep in mind that there are more than just closing costs and down payments that goes into purchasing a home. So you want to make sure that you keep room for miscellane miscellaneous items in your budget. After you've done all this, Compare what you can afford and what you like. Can you afford what you like or do you have some work to do? Which brings us to our next category. How can you save? Saving is mandatory. A quick tip I can give you would be to save 10 to 20% of your yearly salary. For a more in-depth conversation, watch Money Mondays right here on this channel every Monday at 6 p.m. And also be sure that you are living comfortably while you're saving. You don't want to be living paycheck to paycheck in a new house. Which brings us to our last category. When can you get it done? Be honest with yourself and set clear goals that you can follow until you're getting the set of keys. With the right preparation, even if it takes a year or two, the right home will be waiting for you. That was our tip for today. I am Alexis Malord, real estate professional in the South Florida area. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and share this video to someone who might find it helpful. If you wish to contact me, all the information to do so will be in the description box below. As always, I'm happy to help.